Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, we'll be going over how you can get in shape, learn how to defend yourself with some spare change. Alright, what I got here, you know, if you can see, this is a, you know, a $10 roll of quarters. You can go to your bank, ask your teller to give yourself a roll of quarters. Now, this is going to be taken straight from uh, Module 11, Old School Weapons. You know, it's kind of a stereotype now. You know, back in the day, the mafia used to carry roll of quarters around. When they punched someone, they didn't punch with just their bare fists. No, they punched with the roll of quarters. Now, those roll of quarters that add weight, yeah, that's gonna help. But the important thing is that a lot of people don't realize that when you punch your knuckles, your bare knuckles, on jaws, on teeth, on the skull, the human body has a lot of, on elbows, the human body has a lot of tough surfaces. And it's really easy to break your hand. And what the Royal Quarters does, is it gives you something to squeeze. Squeeze like your life is depending on it. And it'll give you some added structure and stability to the really small bones in your hand. So, in other words, you don't break your hand. You don't hurt your hand. And, uh, it's a great idea. Also, what's even better than just a row of quarters is a row of quarters wrapped with some, here I got, you know, two dollar bills wrapped around it, right? Now, from a distance, from a distance, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it looks like you have a wad of cash. Now, when might that be useful? Well, let me tell you something. How many confrontations will you get into because of money? All you gotta do, is back up, establish distance, and say, hey, 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 hey. I don't want any problems, you don't want money, here's about just take it. Throw it, throw away money, throw it. They they they, they flinch, they react, they, they they try to go for it because hey, we're all drawn and our eyes all go towards money. Alright? Another alternative, you know, you carry it, same thing, use it as the roll quarters, this pack. Alright. And finally, you can bundle up, wrap up two rows of quarters, wrap it up, and uh, now what you can do with this is you can make your very own improvised blackjack. Now I know Damien has his own twist on it where he has a bandana and like a, a balloon weight, but uh, my twist on it of course is a uh, little handkerchief. Well actually this is a book cover, you know, use the cover textbooks. Now you can you can actually put these to you know, good use. <laughs> but uh, basically, bundle it up like this, like so, alright, and now you have an improvised blackjack and you can swing and uh, yeah, a lot of damage, again two rolls of quarters, it's pretty heavy, it matters the book cover as well is that this is kind of elastic, it stretches, so it kind of has that kind of a snap to it, uh, realistically speaking when you're doing these combinations as you're going to see, be careful that when, it, that when you snap back and retract you don't want to obviously hit yourself in the jaw, alright, you don't want to knock yourself out. So again, be careful if it's that big of an issue when you're doing the improvised black shock especially. Maybe you might want to consider just using like a long edge of hand and just following through, alright, maybe that'll help you guys. But again, young or old, it doesn't matter, bare hands are always a secondary option. Even a big guy like me, like I'm pretty big, I'm pretty strong, I'm built, right? I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape, you know, as you guys, you know, have seen, all right? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I got that, you know, V-shape, all right? But even someone like me prefers to use weapons, all right? It doesn't matter how big and strong you are, just drop the ego. At the end of the day, it's not about who's right, it's about who's left. Alright, so with that being said, again, you're going to see me doing the combinations in not only just, you know, shirtless, of course, but also you're going to see me doing them, doing some combinations with the improvised blackjack in a full suit and tie, you know, rocking, you know, my nice Armani exchange, you know, sunglasses, alright, and uh, enjoy!
All right, YouTube. So as you can see, that was a demonstration of uh, you know me training uh, self defense training system in my regular clothes as I would be dressed you know on the street. Uh, unfortunately, as you can tell from the lighting, it's pretty it's pretty hot here here in Los Angeles. So I'll be changing to you know regular you know sh shorts and of course going shirtless. But the the point of this is that you're gonna be attacked when you least expect it under the worst possible scenario, under the worst conditions imaginable. Whether you're, you know, in the bar, the club, you know, in the boardroom, you know, wherever 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 you may find yourself. You're gonna be having to deal deal with the situation wherever you find yourself. You're not gonna be attacked when you're barefoot in your you know in your in your you know those funny pajamas, you know. I mean no no disrespect to you know those guys that wear geese, you know, but the point is when you're in your training sake, it's important to have a lot of variety and uh, training and under all types of circumstances. You know, in this, you know, my good, you know, suit, you know, Armani, you know, exchange sunglasses. I mean, the way I would be dressed on the street, actually, this jacket's kind of tight. So, as you can, as you can see, my movement, my edge of hand is a little bit stiff. That's why it's important to train for that. Train for that so you're actually prepared. So when the situation does occur, it's no big deal. Been there, done that, right? Sunglasses. Again, I would not want to get these smashed into my face. That's why it's important to train. Make sure you edge your hand, you know, chin down, elbow up. Keep yourself protected. If anything, you get hit, you hit the top of the skull. You know, your uh, eighty dollars sunglasses won't get damaged. All right.